The education sector is perhaps the most affected following the spillage of the Akosumbo Dam. Several thousand of students are currently out of school after their classrooms were turned into temporary shelters for persons displaced by the floods. Parents who have lost significant properties are worried about funding the education of their children. The Kumasi Technical University is now offering scholarship to female students from these affected areas to study in their institution. Dr. Charles Obin Sapon is University Relations Officer of the Kumasi Technical University. Now the icing on the cake is the fact that the university has as well instituted 100,000 worth of scholarship for females who will be pursuing STEM education at Kumasi Technical University. The good news is that if the person gets this scholarship, it is for the entire duration of the program. That is four years. And so that is what we have uh, thought that uh, we should offer to these our young ones. The school also donated teaching and learning materials to MPs from the affected areas. Kumasi Technical University has brought these items and this gesture was occasioned by the disaster that uh, affected our brothers and sisters in some part of the world as a result of the Akosomo Dam spillage. And so these items you see are donations from the staff of Kumasi Technical University, the staff of Kumasi Technical University. Uh, so we have donated about 10,000 exercise books. We have assorted clothing and shoes. Since we are an educational institution, uh, when the uh, disaster came, what came to our mind was the question that how can these our young ones continue their, uh, their education. In fact, that was the motivation for us to, to, to bring them these items. MPs for the affected areas who have been inundated with calls from distraught parents for support are excited about this gesture from the Kumasi Technical University. MP for Krachi West, Helen Aduantuso, who received the items on behalf of the MPs, thanked the school for this gesture. A big thank you to, to Kumasi Technical University for the exercise book that they have donated. We are told 10,000 exercise books. They've given us uh, about 4,000 pens and pencils and uh, shoes and or used clothing. We are so grateful to them and we know that this will uh, go a long way in helping our people, especially those in the private areas. We are also grateful to them for the scholarship scheme. Uh, this is an encouragement to the girl child that those who those who be interested in um, you know uh, science science or whatever or science technology education they will have the opportunity to go to Kumasi Technical University for free because the scheme is a scholarship scheme. We are so grateful to you and God richly bless you. This act of the university has offered hope to so many who would have dropped out of school because their parents could no longer afford to sponsor their education due to the impact of the floods. And as many more of these community members await a detailed government response, these actions from institutions like the Kumasi Technical University is filling in the